Right, I really thought I did something with that intro, you know. I thought, wow, I'm cool. Um, anyway, guys, I'm transforming Tristan, my friend, my good friend, into royalty. One of my drag daughters. Brand spanking new drag daughter. So, guys, I am just colour correcting with my orange colour corrector. And I'm going to be setting that with powder. Welcome her to the house of Zapanta, you guys. She's my second drag daughter now. Um, so, you know. I mean, even though I'm not a drag queen, I'm just a run-of-the-mill cross-dresser, that's me. I kind of am building a house, but this was all unplanned. Anyway, I'm covering up the brows, really boring, I really hate this part because sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle still. I'm drawing in the eyebrows, I'm actually using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown and I'm just gonna draw the eyebrows on, kind of fading it into the center. And then I'm gonna be using my P. Louise base underneath the eyebrows to clean that up and also above the eyebrows and also kind of priming the eyelids as well for the eyeshadow. This is gonna be like a little bit like my base. And then before I put on eyeshadow, I'm actually gonna set that just because I don't want my base to be super sticky. I'm using a Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette and I'm using just a mixture of mixture <laughs> of browns, light browns to dark browns, deepening it up as we go along and going for that, you know, real fishy beat because Tristan's face is like really small, quite feminine. He's a pretty boy outside of drag. This was actually his first time in drag, like me putting up in drags and everything, apart from when he's practiced. Um, so what I'm doing now is cutting the crease and using the P. Louise base as before as well, making sure that's super, super clean before I pop on a shimmer eyeshadow. This is just going to be a little bit of a base, you guys, because I am going to go over the top of that with some glitter eyeliner. This one's from W7. Glitter eyeliner is really good if you don't want to make a mess with glitter powders. And I'm just blending that in as well. Super pretty. That just makes such an impact as well. I'm using my Barry M liquid liner. I'm just gonna draw a small wing. Everything on Tristan has to be super small because he's got a small head and small everything. He's got really big eyes though. Um, I'm putting some mascara on and some pretty eyelashes. No 301s here because I think they're a bit too big for Tristan's face. I'm going to be using my Barry M All Night Long Foundation Stick. I'm going to be using, I think, shade 3 here to match his skin tone and just going all over the face with that. And don't forget the neck. Um, actually, I've been using powder puffs for pretty much everything. So I'm using my powder puff to blend that foundation in. And you can see as I'm blending it out, like literally, like the base just looks absolutely flawless. Powder puffs, honestly, try it, you guys. Apply your foundation with it, whether that be on drag or just your general day-to-day -day foundation. Like, I think powder puffs are the way to go. It looks so flawless and dead quick as well. I'm just using number one from the same Barry M shades and highlighting. After that, I powdered and now I am contouring. I'm slimming down everything with my Anastasia Contour Kit, an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just using his natural features and softening up the jaw, under the lip, contouring that. And I'm also gonna be contouring the nose as well, just to snatch that in. After that, I know we already applied powder, but I'm just gonna bake a little bit actually with a ivory eyeshadow from Inglot and just snatching the face with that. It's just a little bit more pigmented and blending that out with a fan brush and going in with my Barry M cheek palette. I'm going in with like a peachy orangey shade. I like peachy oranges for drag because it just warms up the face. After that, I'm going to be using my Mama Mitchell Zub Zero Highlighter Palette and just highlighting the cheekbones, bring up that dew, bring up that highlight and just bathing his face in that, the nose bridge, the cupid's bow as well. And going under the eye, I'm just mixing up the browns again underneath the eye, nothing too dark, nothing too drastic in that way. And then finishing off with some nude eyeliner to open them big eyes a little bit more and finishing off with mascara. 
And I'm also adding some rhinestones, some pink rhinestones, just because to drag it up a little bit. I'm wiping off what foundation he had on and I'm using MAC Well Lip Pencil just to line the lips a little bit, overdrawing them slightly. And then I'm gonna go in with two shades of liquid lipsticks, a nude color and a darker pink color on the outside. So it kind of like has that ombre effect, but it's really subtle actually. Before I go in with my Revolution Pout Bomb as a glass. And that's the final look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Tristan, honestly, like Tristan is such a beautiful girl as royalty. Comment below, please like, subscribe, all of that, all of that. And until I see you in my next video. Bye guys. See you later. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're so pretty. <laughs>